John Deere lawnmower not starting. So let's try again. Riding lawnmower. Yeah, new battery. Battery is good. Oil is there. Gas is new. But uh, after the uh, winter storage, now it's not starting. So let's open this up. And uh, the battery is good. The battery is uh, good and fully charged. So it sounded almost like uh, gonna start, but then uh, not starting. So check the check the uh, air filter right here, and that's clean. The back of it is clean. There's no blockage. It's all clean. Put it back. Yeah. Now oh, what? This seems like uh Let's check under this. Let's see. It feels something there. Because big possibility that a squirrel or chipmunk went in and made a nest. It actually has happened in the past many times. So let's check. So we'll open this. These two bolts here and these two at the back and then try to open this top. So Take these two front retainers off. There are two at the back as well. Right here, this one and this one, 10 millimeters, that has to come out. Now, as I looked around, I see sign of, like these are uh, nuts or seeds that, uh, so over the winter, definitely squirrels or chipmunks was sitting and eating here and as i look around there are lots of other stuff like right here so these are uh hmm <laughs> pine cones and acorns and all these all over so that tells that tells it's all uh there's a big possibility that uh, I don't see anything in there though and it's, it's from here it looks clear but let's open it up and see so took this screw off I uh, don't have to take it off fully actually you can just loosen it and uh, there's a slot it will come out now time to pull it out Try to pull it out. And the back one is still stuck. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's huge. <laughs> so it's packed. It's a nest. Is there eggs inside? Wow. Not anymore though. That's the. Uh, Should I take it? Yeah. <laughs> And throw it outside. Oh, just nest. Goodbye. <laughs> All I did was fill it. So it's full of uh. Boy. <laughs> hmm. Watch out! It's gonna cause allergy. Oh, no. This is the coil, and after sitting for uh, six, seven months, the coil, the coil itself can be kind of corroded right here. 
So, but anyway, if you wanna replace the coil, just take these two screws off and put the new coil in and um, keep the gap like about this. Right now, you can see that this is kind of rusted. So, if you turn it and just sand it a little bit, then the rust will be gone. That's actually better to clean it. And uh, we'll actually do that, sand it a little bit if we have a sandpaper here. So I'm pretty sure it's this squirrel nest. That one was blocking the, the air going in. This is the intake. Uh, the Yeah, this is the intake. So it was all plugged. Because this is the air filter, the back of the air filter. So air comes in, the intake was completely choked. So I'll try to clean this. Uh, this line a little bit, this uh, metal plate, magnet, that's the uh, coil's main magnet actually. Sand it off and then start it again, try it in a bit. So we cleaned it up and put it back. So that's how to clean the coil. Now if the starter motor is gone, and it will not sound at all actually, even with new battery, you will just click, click. So this is the starter motor, and all you do is cover off two bolts there, and make sure the battery is disconnected. Negative terminal and the positive of the battery are disconnected. This is the positive. So <clears throat> disconnect that, take this, so one bolt and the two bolts, two hold down bolts here. Then the starter motor comes off. You can put a new starter motor, and it'll be good. But in this case, uh, starter motor is not the problem. I, I'm pretty sure it's just uh, just that the intake was choking. Now here is the spark plug, right there, right there. So this is the coil connection. To change it, just use a, I think it's a 16 millimeters deep socket to uh, disc, uh, take it out. You can just pull it out and then change the uh, go this way and uh, change the uh, spark plug part of the tune up and i uh, showed you uh, how to change the oil and all this this is the oil dipstick so to change the oil you just have to take it out and uh, actually yeah take it out take it out and open this one so this is to make sure air can flow and as soon as you open this, hold the ball, oil will come out. And you can put the new oil. Put a, put a synthetic oil actually, that's a lot better. And run on a premium gas. Synthetic oil, synthetic oil and premium gas, gasoline. That's the trick of uh, lawnmowers, riding lawnmowers, small engines. Let's try to start it now. See. <laughs> Forgot to show you. So this is how to clean it. Clean the magnet. How last is this? Turn it. Can I clean the whole thing? Yeah, it's clean enough. So Look at the gap between the coil probes and the magnets. Look at the gap, it's very fine. It's not even a, I can't remember what's the exact gap in terms of inches, but uh, this is very 
quite narrow gap and these are the spar plug hold down bolts this is the ground ground this is the other bolt to uh, sorry sorry not the spar plug i mean uh, the uh, uh, starter motor hold down bolts Okay, let's try again. So all clean and uh, we put back everything. Uh, you gotta use the choke a little bit, I guess. Sorry, sure. Yeah, no, just pedal a little bit, prime it, yeah. That's how to prime it. Now try to crank. Forgot to close this. Try it again. So it turns out it's giving a hard start also because I don't think there is any fuel coming. This is the fuel filter. So on the front left, back of the engine, right here the fuel filter. To change the filter you can just open these two clips and uh, put a new filter in. But it's not getting any fuel because uh, tank is full, but it's not, I don't see any fuel inside there. I don't think so. So it's not going to start, start anyway. Uh, we will actually use a vacuum suction or so to bring the fuel here. Open it, suck it and bring the fuel to see if it works or not and uh, then we'll go from there but for this particular video like uh, that's it uh, how to clean the coil and the how to get rid of uh, chipmunk nest and uh, starter motor how to replace it how to change the oil that's it so okay hopefully uh, this helps and um, We'll get it going soon. What we found is there is a, it's giving her time starting. Now <clears throat> there's power. The spark plugs look all clean. And there's gas. Starting over, there's oil, but it's not starting, right? So on this side, there is the fuel filter right here. So we found that the, there is no fuel in the filter. Although the tank is full, but there is no fuel. So what we did is we opened this and we used a syringe, a vacuum suction, to just suck, like bring it out and then suck some uh, air out of that filter. So just to see if the fuel line is clogged or not, if it's coming and then fuel came right back. Or you can also just disconnect here and bring it down here. Uh, the, the tank is higher up there. So as soon as we lowered it here, the fuel started pouring out. So that tells that the fuel line is fine. Now this fuel, there's no electrical fuel pump. It works on vacuum, like as the engine turns, as we crank, it develops, generates the vacuum, the uh, float moves and right there, and it brings the fuel through this. This one actually has a electrical line as well, so I don't know if it's electrical pump or not, but anyway, there was no, uh, it was leaking somehow. There's no fuel leak, but it was not coming. Now you can also clean this. You can also open this and uh, there's a most of them has a float there. You can spray some carb cleaner and clean it. And what we, we didn't have to clean this. What, what, what I found is this rubber hose that goes from the fuel filter to this top uh, diaphragm. This was all cracked. I'll show you in a minute. So this is it. As you can see, 
right here it's all cracked right if I leave it here all cracked here it's all cracked here so look at the crack and the crack is right through is it went through it was all the way through crack on both sides so what was happening is as soon as the vacuum wanted to suck the fuel it was leaking vacuum leak in the fuel line right here so we put a new new hose right there and we tried to start and it started right up well start started it again and that's it now this fuel filter is full of fuel before there was no fuel coming now it's full of fuel you can see that it's better to put a new fuel filter let's take these two clips out and put a new filter or clean it out cleaning is not an option I should uh, put a brand new one and uh, use premium gas always use premium gas and never clog never uh, sludge will not build up so we'll uh, start it in a in few seconds start it start it started right up nice okay so it started fine and it'll run fine for sure engine sounds very healthy it's a new machine so hopefully this will help so all it needed is this this vacuum line which weathered cracked uh, to be replaced this is a gas line actually not vacuum line gas line but which was uh, leaking the vacuum okay hope this helps please uh, share and subscribe subscribe for a future grand prize hopefully thank you